Welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be reading Star Wars A New Hope. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a terrible war rages as the Rebel Alliance struggle to defeat the evil Galactic em Empire. Led by brave Princess Leia, a small team of rebels has just stolen secret plans for the Empire's ultimate weapon. The Dark Star is a space station so powerful it can vaporize planets. But as the rebels try to escape, an Imperial Star Destroyer captures them. Princess Leia hides the plans and a secret message in a small droid named R2-D2. As R2-D2 and his friends CP C-3PO flee in an escape pod, a menacing figure cloaked in black invades the rebel ship. It is the evil Emperor Commander Darth Vader. He wants the Darth Star plans back. He orders his stormtroopers to capture the princess. R2-D2 and C-3PO lands on the desert planet, Tatooine. They are captured by tiny scavengers called Juas. The droids are quickly sold to a farmer and his young nephew, Luke Skywalker. An orphan, Luke dreams of leaving his desert home and traveling into space on exciting adventure. As Luke cleans R2-D2, he accidentally unlocks part of the Princess Leia's message. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Luke wonders if she means the old hermit Ben Kenobi, who lives far off in the desert. That night, R2-D2 runs away to deliver his message. At dawn, Luke and C-3PO race off in a land speeder to find R2-D2. When they finally reach the little droid, vicious sand people attack. Luckily, a mysterious cloaked man comes to the rescue. It is Ben Kenobi. In Ben's hunt, R2-D2 plays Princess Leia's full message. The princess asks Obi-Wan to travel to her planet, Algeron, and help the rebels defeat the evil em empire. Luke is amazed to learn that old Ben was once Obi-Wan Kenobi, a great Jedi Knight skilled in the ways of the Force. The Force is an energy field that gives the Jedi Knight his power. It binds the galaxy together, Obi-Wan explains. Obi-Wan then reveals that Luke's father was a Jedi Knight until Darth Vader destroyed him. Darth had been a student of Kenobi's until he turned to the dark side of the Force. Obi-Wan gives Luke a gift, his father's lightsaber, a powerful laser sword. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father, Luke says. Luke, Obi-Wan, and the droids go to Maz Eisley's spaceport to find a safe spaceship to take them to Alderaan. They look for a pilot in the cantina crowded with strange and dangerous aliens. Obi-Wan hires Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca. Their ship, the Millennium Falcon, is fast enough to outrun Imperial Star Destroyers. It will be a dangerous trip, but Han needs the money to pay a debt to Jabba the Hutt, a powerful crime lord. Luke and his friends climb aboard the Millennium Falcon and blast off. Imperial TIE fighters chase them, but Han quickly engages the ship's hyperdrive. Soon the Falcon is traveling at the speed of light. The heroes race across the galaxy only to discover that Alderaan is gone, destroyed by the Dark Star. Suddenly the giant space station pulls them in with a powerful tracker beam. Trapped on the Dark Star, Luke and his friends hide from the Imperial forces. Obi-Wan sets off to deactivate the tractor beam so they can escape. R2-D2 plugs into a computer and makes an incredible discovery. Princess Leia is being held prisoner on the Death Star. 
Disguised as a stormtrooper, Luke and Han, Han handcuff Chewbacca and pretend he's a prisoner. They enter the detention center and take the guards by surprise. Luke quickly finds Princess Leia and opens her cell. I'm here to rescue you, Luke says, taking off his helmet. The stormtroopers corner Luke and his friends. Thinking fast, Leah grabs a blaster and blows open her garbage chute. The heroes dive in and land in a giant trash comp compactor filled with stinky junk and a garbage monster. Crunch. The whole wall begins to close in, getting closer and closer and closer. Things look grim. Luke uses his communicator to contact C-3PO and R2-D2. At the last second, the droids are able to turn off the compactor and unlock a door. After turning off the tractor beam, Obi-Wan confronts his old enemy, Darth Vader. They ignite their lightsabers and the duel begins. As Luke runs to the Millennium Falcon, he sees the battle. Just as Vader strikes down Obi-Wan, the old man vanishes and his cloak falls to the floor. No, cries Luke. The heroes race aboard the Millennium Falcon and take off. Imperial TIE fighters try to shoot them down, but Han and Luke climb into the Falcon's gun bay and blast the TIE fighters to bits. Soon the heroes are zooming across the galaxy to deliver the secret Death Star plans to the rebels. At their base, the rebels review the Death Star plans and find a weakness. One perfect shot in the small event could destroy the entire station. Han tells Luke that he does not want to help with the mission. Instead, the pilot is returning to Tatooine to pay his debt to Jabba the Hutt. X-Wings attack the Dark Star as it approaches and prepares to destroy the rebel base. Waves of screaming TIE fighters defend the station. The rebel, the rebel plots fight bravely, but no one makes the perfect shot. Finally, it is Luke's turn. He flies his X-Wing down a narrow trench towards the vent. Suddenly, Darth Vader appears in a TIE fighter. Darth Vader is about to destroy Luke's X-Wing when something blasts his TIE fighter. It's the Millennium Falcon zooming to the rescue. You're all clear, kid, shouts Han. Now let's blow this thing and go home. As Darth Vader's damaged fighter spirals into space, Luke hears Obi-Wan's voice. Use the force! Luke turns his targeting computer, closes his eyes and fires. The shot is perfect. The Death Star explodes. Luke Skywalker and his friends are heroes. Princess Leia gives them medals and the rebels cheer. Their fight with Darth Vader and the Emperor... Empire is far from over, but they know that the Force will be with them always. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Star Wars A New Hope and stay tuned for more book reads coming soon. Take care guys, stay safe and keep on reading and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.